All right, everybody, welcome back once again to the PCS Summer Split Playoffs. We are one game done and a fast one at that as PSG just completed a shellacking of J-Team. We'll see if they can come back for game number two and give us a series. But before we do that, I want to thank our sponsors one more time, CTBC Bank and China Airlines. Thank you for sticking with us and for making us fly high in the sky for the PCS Playoffs. All right, Nightstar, J-Team has swapped up to the blue side for game mm -hmm. number two. What do you anticipate being the difference in this one? Uh, besides maybe not getting smashed in 30 minutes? <laughs> that would be nice, Pyro. Uh, we'll need to actually see the in-game play past that draft, though, to really determine if that will be the case. But going on to the blue side, I think the priority will be either around the Silas or the Zero pick, where they will be able to drop one of those bands and themselves. Uh, now, they could also turn their attention, keep those same two bands, and just lock the Ari here. Because uh, Gory on the Ari pick did make a lot of plays. Um, and if it wasn't going to be Kai Wing with the MVP, Gory definitely would have been the next one up, right? Because he was doing a lot of damage. He also was able to come back from a rough early game to then come back and really assert himself, assassinating key targets. That was a big one, and we'll see if he gets a chance to do it again, despite getting pressured in the lane, still having a big impact, and here with PSG stepping it up. For J-Team, they start off on this blue side by banning the Azir. They banned the Wukong away mm. from Bury. I do think that's an adaptation that might be needed. So PSG still sticking to the... 80 carry bands and yeah, Callista, Lucian off the table. This is good. Yefelios took a while to get online. Also a Nautilus ban by JT and themselves. Maybe this sets up that first Ari pick after all. Silas still left available and PSG will have to pick whether they want to give up Silas or Ari or maybe just handshake this, uh, the situation. They'll go ahead, ban away the buy. So JT, I think they'll go ahead, lock themselves the first pick Silas. For PSG, probably looking at the Ari Renekton for a 1-2. If you want to go ahead and draft your solo laners uh, right away, it is one of those situations where it feels like it's maybe not the best option. Or you could go for something like Aphilius Leona. Just deny Lil V his Aphilius pick, which he has uh, really gravitated towards more often than not. Unified's been more than competent on that champion. It looks like we are actually going to end up dropping out yeah! of draft. That's not actually a TMO. We're having a we're having a little bit of a tech issue. It looks yeah. like so we'll reset things. That was uh, it would have been great. I mean, we have seen TMO in competitive. I think it was like last year it came out of the LCK if I'm remembering. But uh, yeah, we are gonna we are gonna have a bit of an extended uh, draft this time around with Silas lock in. We could speculate a little more on what's gonna come through. I think that Aphelios takeaway could certainly work. You have to think what happens then on the J team side. What do they opt into mm -hmm. to start to turn into maybe a Sivir? Do we see the Zeri coming out for them? That was a bit of a bait with the high prio for J team in the past, but this isn't the first rotation. Yeah, so if the Philios does get denied away, you could look for something. Maybe the uh, the Jinx comes back um, in that instance, or I would 
I personally would like to see a Senna lane come out in that bottom lane, but ooh, uh, it, Senna has pretty much entirely vanished. Um, so probably not a pick uh, PCS teams are really thinking about. Um, but yeah. Yeah, it's it's just hasn't paired with what uh, especially these these like high damage dealing AD carries want to do, right? Like the the the, the fasting Senna lane is it has a lot of utility, has a lot of impact, but it doesn't have as much damage, and and uh, I, I think it puts a fair bit on these supports. I would love to see if Lil V and Enzo do go for the Zeri again to to pair it with Yumi because it has happened for this team more than a lot of the other ones in the league. But for some reason, the PCS does have quite an aversion to the cat. Maybe they're allergic. I am allergic to cat hair. Uh, that is something I will admit. Ah, but well, I, I, I have to be aware like... of that next time I have you over, my dude. Well, the place is covered in it. <laughs> yes, uh, I do love cats though. So it's it, that's it, the struggle, yeah, isn't it? It is unfortunate. It, it's like uh, I know a lot of my friends are lactose intolerant, but they will still <laughs> have their pizza. You know, uh, uh, I am one of those people. Yeah, exactly. Um, you just got to carry the of pizza. Carry your pills, right? We might be uh, we might be getting a Pizza Girl server delivery today. Who knows? I do love that skin. It's getting locked in here for here we go. PSG. We'll see uh, if they just let the affiliates happen. I think Lil V didn't get a chance to have that much impact on it, but it was mostly because of PSG just completely dominating objectives and not letting it get online. Oh, oh. would the Yumi come out now? Are we getting extra zooms down, bot? Okay, there we are. There we go. It does. We just talked about it. Yeah. Uh, it's a takeaway here as well if Lil V goes for the Zeri pick. Yeah, and we just haven't seen any Yubi <laughs> in our league uh, during this playoff. Uh, trying to look up the numbers here. Kylings played two iterations of Yumi, and he has a 100% win rate. Uh, if I recall correctly, they were both big old stomps because his KDA is 39 <laughs> on the champion. It's a little large. 39.0. Yeah, I, I think that usually means it was a couple of stomps. The Ari comes through fairly squishy um, for both compositions so far with the double enchanter support, but that's a little deceptive with the Lulu. Yeah, and coming into today, we've had 13 bans onto the Yumi, but zero picks. So this is our first Yumi playoff game. We'll see how PSG do with it, and uh, both teams do have. Uh, sort of what they want in this first phase, right? For J-Team, they get the Silas, they drop that ban coming out of the red side. But PSG still get to go back onto the Ari pick, and we get that handshake, right? The Silver Yumi, and then the Zeri Lulu. Zeri Lulu, not quite uh, the amount of 1v9 potential a Silver Yumi does have, uh, but there is still that potential. I like how it's still 1v9, even if you have the Yumi on your back. <laughs> it still counts. It's still only one champion at the point. Uh, continuing to hammer away at Kongi's champion pool, the Pantheon, the Viego, taking off the board. I do think that's wise. And JTM are aiming for Hanabi with both the uh, Renekton and the Orn removed. Yeah, taking those strong, weak side top laners. Ooh, and there's the know? Poppy. There's we the Poppy. It was completely absent in game number one, even though J-Team had the opportunity to lock it in against a composition that would have absolutely suffered against the Poppy. But PSG will be the ones to lock it in. J-Team seems to have completely forgotten the existence of this champ, and they will go ahead, go back towards the Sejuani. I would assume it will be Sejuani top lane. I would too. Uh, oh, well, maybe we'd both be wrong. I mean, if they guess that the goal is uh, to deny Hanabi picks, I mean, it, he could just go Gangplank. <laughs> yeah, they decide to just pinch Hanabi's pool as much as possible. But this is also an instance where you can just go Gwen because they are running into you. This is a fine Gwen spot. It is also Gwen. Well, I mean, Gwen is fine. It's you, just... you said Gwen a lot, but uh, I, mm -hmm. I feel like the hover says something different here. I think it's going to be the Aatrox. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I don't. Oh, there okay, we go. There I don't we go. Gangplank either. Okay. Gangplank. It's another G champ, you know? Yeah. 
Nargang Pink uh, Gwen. That, that's Hanabi's pool. Keep it that, that actually way. is. That is a weird coincidence that that works out that way. But for Hanabi, he's already proven that despite the rounds of nerfs that they've received, he's still able to make these champions work for him. And all of a sudden, this late game is pretty terrifying. Uh, and a lot of damage dealers, a lot of AoE, and an ability with this Poppy to put fight numbers in your favor. I think J-Team, they could be in a lot of trouble here, and Yindi Boy's gonna have to do a lot of heavy lifting. Yeah. There is a little bit more engaged power uh, because you do have the Silas this time around on top of the, the Sejuani and now the uh, Gnar ultimate as well, conditionally. So it's a better pivot coming in from J-Team, giving them more tools to start fights. Uh, compositionally, though, I, I do favor a PSG this time around because they get comfort and they get to play from arm's length a little bit more. They have the game plank ultimate to disengage. They have the poppy ult to turn the fight. They have Ari who's incredibly slippery. And if you overcommit, you're running into a Yumi ultimate. So game number two looking a little bit rough from J Team, but can they make the adaptations in game to shift their fortunes? Well, that is always the question when we're looking at J Team. Seeming to struggle in these playoffs so far, at least against some of our top flight squads. We'll see if they can correct on the course. Otherwise, they're in danger of going down to match point early on against our reigning champions. PSG Talon looking to go the long road to the finals here. Let's we'll see if they can pull it off. It's rare that we see this team knocked down in the lower bracket, but so far, coming back into it, and remember... They uh, didn't go down here without a fight. CFO had to put him six feet under at the final hurdle. Yeah, they were looking a little bit like the undead. <laughs> <laughs> they keep coming Tried back to rise from the grave. And CFO was like, please. No. It was a Scion, Scion passive. Yeah. Unfortunately. <clears throat> and they did end realms. up in the lower bracket. But game one was just Minions utterly, spawn. utter dominance. Right? So if they keep that trend up this is a, a possibly 3-0 3-0 coming in from both ends of that lower bracket going into that lower bracket semis and i think it was a surprise yesterday to see that happen against frank esports deep cross just showing up really well and i think it would probably be a surprise as well uh you know I, I, a lot of us predicted psg to win it but i i don't know about a 3-0 necessarily as we will get underway in this bottom side it's uh Pizza and candy, but a yummy bot lane, I think. Combination going back and forth and just chucking them at each other. Yeah. The food delivery service here. Mm. Hey man, it's uh, it's been very valuable since the pandemic started. Is... Always tip your, uh, always tip your delivery drivers. That's very true. It does get Although, a little bit. I wouldn't rough want a cat out. on my pizza. That's 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 a uh, that's not good. Yeah, no, we just I talked mean, about cat hair. We wouldn't want that. Yeah, we'll cat no hair definitely can just get everywhere, right? Uh, yeah, up in the soft side, it's looking pretty. It's been a long week, hasn't it? <laughs> uh, oh man, this uh, is lose the, my mind. the fun part about not seeing gangplank in a long time. You forget uh, he can just nonstop press Q onto you, and you don't ever get to play the game. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's what it's looking like so far for Hanabi is he's already able to get a couple of these uh, grass procs stacked up. And the corrupting pot as well. I mean, like, Hanabi is just like, he does not care about the, the, the nurse. He does not care about the fact that we haven't really seen GP much in a while. He's like, all right, I'll take this matchup. This is fine. I know this one inside and out. And there's a reason that Hanabi always seems to return to form. You know, we've seen it at Worlds. We've seen it in this split now in playoffs. We were worried. That with the nerf bat hitting a couple of his champs, with the fact that he's been playing a little more on weak side, it hasn't worked out well for him, that he might fall off. He was uh, exploitable. Turns out to not be the case. As Burry, level three on the poppy, sitting in mid lane, looking to get something back. As last game, it was all Kongye showing up in the mid, who is uh, now just getting the ward down. As he clears for Scuttle. Going to be traded by the poppy. Burry didn't find an opener. As Uni Boy pushed under tower. And so far, the lines are looking fairly good from the early onset for PSG. Playing pretty far forward, able to get those resets, especially top lane. 
getting that reset off as the game playing feels really, really nice. Makes you almost impervious to ganks. And even when a possible dive might happen, you're going to have cannon barrage. You're going to have the oranges to survive and really give yourself the opportunity to turn uh, these fights. It's actually, Hanabi doesn't go for the recall. A little bit surprised. Ooh. Here's the thing, if you're if you're calling it right now, like you're still power farming to try and get yourself up to be able to throw out those glacial prisons, but the issue is you need to focus on mid and bot lane because you're getting shoved in there. I don't think top lane's gonna get a whole lot of help. Rock might be left on an island and well it might be sinking into the sea. Not if he's already got the best of him once. Mm -hmm. The big thing here for J Team has just been even though sometimes they do They've picked a couple of games where it should be top side focus. They've never been able to really execute around those conditions. So more likely than not, Rock indeed will be left on his own devices. And that is going to be another situation that Hanabi will thrive in when he does get to free scale into a game or where he isn't expected to uh, be put under pressure able to scale up the pressure participate in the team fights and as we know psg the highlight of the squad is team fight and those ricochets is really just starting to sting on uh, enzo a little bit even early on yeah hanabi has definitely uh hold a course correct uh when he's been given these champions that are able to thrive and when he doesn't get put under pressure early on and i think they just understand the way j team like to play is a little slower Kongye will be making an appearance down bottom but good try brush ward by Kaiwing means that this gets full spotted. Three people. Yeah, Chilling fine. out they here, turn it back just around. trying to get the reset. This is They're actually getting a lot of damage out, and look at really Burry. Want to reset that way. Oh, man. This feels it's bad right now world. for J-Team. Burry gets the wall bang, finding extra return damage, and Kongi mm. might have a level advantage, but he doesn't have much of a health bar left. And now the wave freeze is on. This is even yep. worse for Lovie and Enzo. So, for the side of PSG, they should just go for the recall, allow this wave to sit there. They'll be able to return. Zeri, one of those champions that can't exactly shove the lane out very easily uh, during the lane phase. Whereas on the flip side, if Sivir wants to crash a wave, she can just crash a wave. So, all things going very, very well for the side of PSG to shut out will be an Enzo once more in this bot half. Yeah, all according to plan at the moment. CS lead mounting here for Gory in the mid lane without any pressure facing him. He's been able to get an edge over Uniboy and push him out. Of course, both teleports down and expended in this one. He's going to get it back a little faster. Uniboy will. As the focus has still just been on these scuttles, the dragon not really a heavy priority for either team early on right now, mostly because it's still only seven minutes, and that is a ocean drake, unlike the last time when it was the uh, first inferno. Yeah, ocean drake being the first dragon will perhaps give J team a little bit more room uh, to breathe, as it is a low priority dragon. It looks like it's Going to make a oh, visit up in the uh -huh. top side. All right, Rock looking to cut off a Nobby. Instantly, he knows what's up, and he puts down the cannon barrage. Might still die. Eats an orange. I don't know if it's going to be K, though. And they're going to be able to take him down for first blood, but it did take a lot of time and effort. Here comes Burry. Yep. Looking to try his Jesus. luck and catch that wave. Yeah, just here to catch the wave. Not going to be an issue for him. Actually, looking to try and hold a freeze, which would be pretty Boy. nice. Corey getting chased on charm, but really nice use of the spirit rush stolen away. It's him with the surprise Teemo. So J Team is showing they have some fight. Unified, bringing Kai Wing up here with Kano's back. Not Try level six. 2v2 uh, without level six. That's going to be a little tough. Can't quite go hunting just yet, so he just sends the boomerang into Enzo's backside. And we might see a revisit up in the top side. Once more. Why not? Corners I'm going to be holding straight, though. Back top, yeah. Yeah, and that's going to be the issue. Uh, they will be spotted on a ward, and it might just be an exchange of objectives for the side of PSG. Don't need to fight for 
this Rift Turtle, especially with no one playing around that area. And given that you do have enchanters down in this bottom lane, the especially the Yumi, the roam power might not quite be there, but very level oh, six. Dive. And Frozen it's only level five presence. little beast. He gets the wall Frozen bang, the gets that one knock up. Here comes Gory. They're gonna pop that final chapter. Two flashes, little V charmed, but does get away. Big expenditure of ultimate. Here comes Kong Here comes Kong and Uni Boy to cut this line nope. off. They're gonna go turn on to Burry. Let's see if they get the damage. Gory Gory's taking so very, alive. very low. And they bite off way more than they could chew. Uni Boy getting the first kill on a unit five, and Gory falls not long after that. Burry now being chased down. Even though he's got the captain's back, he can't quite speed boost up enough for Canny through those heels. Kong on the chase, get the chase. slow down. It's not there. Solo Bolo. And it's not enough, but still two kills on the overforce. J Team, they're the ones on the board this game. They do manage to find a punish onto the dive attempts coming in from PSG. But you look at that bot lane situation, it's still not a good spot. Because a Unified is up 20 CS and the two assists are going to be critical for Lil V to get back into it. And, you know, you still will take those summoners burst. Right, because you now have Summoner's Advantage down in that bot side, but the return coming in from Kongria, from Uni Boy, that's massive. Uh, to just try and play around their win condition. Get Uni Boy and Kongria ahead, allowing them to continue playmaking here, and maybe that will make a difference coming in from game one, where they had a couple advantages, they just weren't able to push those advantages. This time, they'll get another go at it. Build themselves up here. It is important to get those kills onto priority targets. And Uni Boy with that one does manage to put his Everfrost. Rock getting a push on into the tower. Hope to take a couple of plates for themselves. Last time they were just held to that measly one tower right at the end of the game. Mm -hmm. And certainly it can only go up from there. As a 900 gold advantage. Currently sitting in favor of J Team. Remember, they are still holding on to that Rift Herald. It was not opt. You have to think this is happening as Kongye has moved in. They're not even opting to crush the eye yet, as Hanabi's still sticking around. There it goes. Now walking back up to the wave now. Knowing that he has Burry coming in from behind. Tower shots. Yeah, they won't be able to uh, you know, break the tower. But at the very least, they do get a bunch more gold into Rock, and maybe he'll be able to leverage that extra gold into a 1v1. Although, that being said, it is still a gangplank, and one of the big things that gangplank has is that passive gold generation from those last hits. Very true. Kong Ye, looking to come around the side, finds the ice bowl on a prediction from Gore, who still gets out. Oh boy! Still Some fun. fancy footwork right there. Extra mobility, of course, coming in handy for Gory as he's able to stay safe. And the Merc Treads. Yeah, the Merc Treads helping out considerably as well. Something. Uh, still, not a lot of attention onto the dragon. Even though it is up and available, it really just shows you hey, when Ocean Dragon spawns, it's all about the fight. We're just going to look for fights rather than try and get this early ocean because ocean a it hurts like a truck and b it doesn't give you a lot of stats in the uh in the game anymore it does uh, give you a little bit more uh in the form of well i'll talk about that a little later as hanabi does go down the tag team duo uni boy thanks another tower shot here comes gory on the chase through Charm does get dodged out. I think he's going to be able to get out fine. Yeah, I was going to say the, the one advantage of uh, getting that ocean is that you clear up the next dragon, but you can slow the game down if you don't take it. And I think that's perfectly fine for JT. Yeah, and I think JT will be more comfortable with uh, uh -oh. that dragon being taken because it does mean... Okay, getting a little sneaky here. Oh, I think he spotted him out. Yeah, he did. Uh, <laughs> because it does mean that they're actually able to get to a late game point that they weren't able to get to before. Uh, and at the very least, like, hey, <laughs> we get to see more minutes than we, or at least stand a better chance. Uh, moving that was a pretty fast game, game last time. Yeah, like, like yeah. 31 minutes just about. Uh, so, with this ocean being relatively free on the map, PSG will finally clean it up. They have been held to zero kills so far in this game, wanting to get back whatever they can for themselves. 
The bright spots, though, the top lane has been holding on. I don't know if that's going to last as Kongye makes another trip up to the top. Hello. On a B, face checking nearly as Kongye chases him down. Even Uni Boy's here. Good. It's all about ganking Kongye and whoo, tells him to cool off. His fireworks aren't popping off anytime soon, and that will be first brick as well as the fifth kill of the game going in favor of J Team. A much better start for the squad. And they're playing to topside. And. <laughs> Also, big factor is they were able to find that kill. In addition, able to steal away the Gangplank ult before finishing him off. So it means that this play down in the spot side is incredibly hard to just pull off because the brush. of the Cannon Barrage being able to clear out that wave. Nicely done. Yeah, the Silas, you can see why the Pryo has been well placed here and nobody's defending tier two. This is huge. Kongi and J-Team, they're gonna finish it off as well. A big long lane that they just mm -hmm. given themselves. A lot of extra gold going into this NAR. And that's real nice news for the side of J Team out to a 4K gold lead. 14 minutes of the game is quite considerable. Will be sort of evened out down in the bottom lane. And Silver Yumi will still be an issue later on in the game. That won't change. And remember for J Team, this is a composition that's pretty pretty dive heavy focus, so they will be running into that Yumi ultimate. You're right. J-Team, they're not keen to let their advantages dry and wither right now. It's going to be another Herald start by them. Much better setups and much better map positioning, giving them the go-ahead for the objectives. PSG not going to fight it out, so another Herald. Calls to J-Team. Burry getting caught on a red buff contest? Yeah, just trying to snag away any sort of uh, gold he can get on the flip side, right? Where he knows, hey, uh, Korea is on that top side objective, so let's just grab what we can down in this bottom side. And unfortunately, does get defended by Rob. And you can look at some of this war coverage. It's a lot of wards coming out from the side of PSG. But the couple that they do have on the side of J-Team is in the spot where they're able to protect that top lane, side lane work. Absolutely. And Uni Boy off to a great start himself in this game. Those three kills. Got a gold bounty already in this one. Has been able to do a lot of work with stolen ultimates. Even if he had fallen behind in lane, had been pushed in, he stayed alive. That's critical. Denying Gory the kills to succeed even without a lot of less pressure than he had last time around from his jungler top focus next dragon uh, next dragon is going to be the mountain so in objective both teams will look to try and get themselves as gory knocked into the wall but Kongi around the back side gory gonna buy a little time for himself the cannon barrage does come in to try and push this back gory stays alive after that stopwatch pop hmm. nice little Defensive play coming in from Gory being able to stay alive. Uniboy will be able to dash away. Now the situation tower, resets. Second Rift Hill nice. gets flopped down here, and that should be it. Should be the tower. Really Unless nice finish defensive. off, though. Uh, they actually keep that wave really pushed, okay. and PSG managed to swing it. Hanabi uncontested takes the tower. Will be doing a little bit of work in the mid, but that was a good PSG trade. Try and <laughs> shave off that gold lead. Yeah, able to get a little bit back for themselves as dragon is about to spawn in one minute we'll see where the recalls come in if they do go for a recall yeah we're gonna see how to be start to make his way over has that last whisper uh completed for himself so trying to shred through a little bit of that armor in addition to the armor penetration coming in from his barrels Perhaps that will soften up one of these uh, top side targets who do have that um, armor already stacked up pretty heavily and make it in a good range for Unified to start cleaning up. So far though, PSG have not been able to find a kill in this game. Got themselves that first dragon, got themselves a tower, another one to answer. Any boy with the stolen spirit rush. Finding Hanabi, 
Chain Lash is on, he dashes forward, looking for those King Slayers, and he just has so much damage. Hanabi having a hard time answering, but in the minion wave, he has quite a lot. Woof. Not enough, though. And without the Cannon Barrage, it was not a fair fight. JT not only cleaned that one up, they go ahead and take the Mountain Drake as well. And that should have been an opportunity to try and go for a contest with the extra global power coming in from the Gangplank, but the Gangplank gets soloed out. That makes things all the more difficult as Gory gets stung up here once more. The charm, though. But the reinforcements. Yeah, Unified and Kai Wing are cut off from Little V and Enzo, but they managed to push them back all the same. Keeping that bot tower, that's been huge, but Hanabi has been pressured in this long lane without towers to fall back to. Uniboy has become an absolute terror on the side. Uniboy will be the big problem for PSG to deal with going into this mid game. Already two items completed, has the Donya's Hourglass, so he can just jump in and provide a massive nuisance will also wait be able to buy time for his next cycle of cooldowns so that will be the big big numero uno problemo for the side <laughs> of j team or for the side of psg yeah it's not like how to be that far behind it's just if you can't win the Ooh. 1v1 anymore against silas Kongye. then Kongye Kongye just stole hard. away that red buff Wow, that feels bad for PSG. It's his jump. Didn't even have to smite it. I did the last second. Yeah. Indeed, his jungle and Burry will have to make do with that ward. That is. Now it's a fight for the chickens. Uh, he's not giving him anything right here. Unified and, uh, is just trying to farm it up. But meanwhile, Rock is taking that bottom tower that had been well defended up until this point. Mm -hmm. Looking for the chase. Yeah, Kongi won't be able to be slowed down by that prowling projectile. Now the focus is on mid lane. J-Team looked to open this map up. It is an Infernal Rift as well. Some dragons well worth fighting for, and PSG know they're going to have to get in there into the pit if they want to. Oh, big knockback on the Narf. Hanabi taking a little low, and Flash gets a lot of value. Wind up from Burry, but no pitch. We'll hold on to the ultimate, which means it will be back up very, very shortly. But P do PSG find the fight window? Do they even look to go for a fight? Is the real question, right? Because two and a half minutes into the dragon, there's not much to look for besides just the fight. Otherwise, it's just buying time, waiting for that next item to get completed here as Gory will address that top wave. Uh, he will most likely be going towards that uh, Zanya second as well and really for the side of psg the big ticket item is the infinity edge once you get the infinity edge completed by unified then these fights definitely change uh quite a bit oh yeah and you do see the buys starting to come through more and more for j team too that knight's vow actually ends up being completed by calling a just Going ahead and uh, get the tether on to try and add some extra protection, presumably for Lil V, but I suppose it could always be for Uniboy. It would be pretty cool to see it for Uniboy because of how much damage he is outputting right now. Lil V on at least two items now will uh, start to add a little bit more punch. Uh, still not quite to his own third item, and unfortunately, the drawback of an Infernal Rift, while it does give you more damage, does leave you with less terrain to hit those Electro Shock Lasers. Yeah, that's true. A little bit frustrating in that regard. Speaking of frustrating, I think just had a hard time. He's just had so much focus, so much pressure put on him. Konge has all day to sit there in that jungle. Lil V and Enzo can also join. Look at all the warding that's been done by J-Team through this decimated jungle on the Infernal Rift, looking to make sure PSG get absolutely no opportunity to sneak into the pit. And three and a half K gold lead for the side of J Team, but what we haven't seen yet is really an acceleration, right? Because it was 4K at 14 minutes. So in fact, the gold lead has gotten smaller. So for the side of PSG, they've done a good job in being able to get two towers to their name and slow the game down where this Sivir might be able to find that one big team fight. Although Woof. she is going for 
uh, the last whisper item for perhaps a better power spike knowing that she has to cut through this gnar that's already built up a lot of armor and the sejuani and the silas yeah i think that adaptation is not a bad one the ldr already completed by hanabi as well and you can see him just cutting through uh, the minion wave with those barrel pops. That's something that J-Team are going to have to respect as this game goes on. But they do get the free dragon. This is only their first Infernal, only their second Drake total. So it is a while before we get into the Soul Point territory. And, well, that just goes to show that PSG taking that dragon uh, certainly was well worth it. Mm -hmm. The first dragon pickup is going to pay off just a little bit in this instance. But they still really no, they do... Not bad either want to contest the next one though right because if you give over a mountain and two infernos that's a lot of stats packed into those three dragons and even though you can just continue to buy time unless you manage to flip the gold lead into your favor it's a really negative uh stat fight taken for that soul contest yeah, you don't want to put yourself too deep in the hole, and then you just lose no matter what you do. PSG certainly know this. Me boy getting spotted by Bury there, but can't really do much about it. PSG, despite being held to two towers and no kills this game, they do have a game plan, and it is a late game win condition. They have the GP, they have the Sivir, they have the Yumi. They can do a lot of chase down, and remember that Poppy Utility is not at all dependent on the items. <laughs> So they are playing a slower game as yep. they are in the deficit. We will see if they can come back into it and play it out. J-Team have not been able to extend the gold lead, as you mentioned. It's only about 3.3k. It's in fact contracted a little bit. The Dragons, that's what they got going for them. The map control, that's what they got going mm -hmm. for them. But they're not pulling the trigger on making any big plays right now. They're looking for the perfect setup. Look at Kongye in the bush. And the issue is they're just constantly sort of ping-ponging these waves, right? They're they're pushing it in without without punishing PSG. Like PSG aren't being punished for for the fact that they're behind in gold because J Team keep giving them gold by just bouncing the way back into it. They're not trying to deny any gold. Here is perhaps this might be the opportunity having the stolen Ari ultimate. Okay. Ah, that's onto it. Glacial Prison again. hits Burry. It just doesn't really do much here, and that tool burnt means that they can't do much else. Now everybody from PSG has joined the fray into this ARAM, and neither team looking to fight, but that favors PSG talent. Pyra, the set 20 ultimates have not been good. <laughs> oh, no. When it's been for single target pickoffs, they've landed for the most part, but any oh. full fight is not low great at all okay. beauty boy and here comes this trap possibly being snapped it could be but with the poppy copter already used to knock at rock least one person mega. out of this one with the rock tp as mega nar and psg respect it they immediately back out they give themselves the space to cool dodge out the trap and yeah not a bad uh trade of things damage on the tower and the teleport from rock in exchange for really nothing lost you can see there down in this bottom lane and these wave states are perfectly fine for the side of PSG 2. So once more, they're not getting denied gold. Yes, some of the EXP is a little bit rough, right? Bot lane or top lane with Rock and Hanabi. It is a level lead for this NAR. It is a level lead for Konga over Burry. And it is level 16 onto Uni Boy as well. So uh, that that is really the big power point, the fact that they have 16 on both Rock and Uniboy. Having access to that rank 3 ultimate might be enough oomph to put them over to the top in this next fight. But if they don't pull the trigger fast enough, then, you know, level 16 starts ticking over for the side of PSG as well. So, already Gory, now level 3. It's not enough explosiveness coming in from the side of J-Team because the, the play they executed... They threw an ice ball onto the tank. It's not a priority target. No one cares. Yeah, it, it has been a little bit of a head scratcher seeing Kongye play this champion. I don't really think it favors him. It's good in the flexible sense that you can choose your top champion matchup a little more, but 
between Brock and, and Kong Ye, I'd rather have the ladder on a much more impactful champion. And now, timing window. Okay, that wave gonna get shoved. Here comes Kong Ye, but he's by himself for the time being until Lil V comes uh, over. Yeah. Search, instantly getting okay, wall banged. Okay. And yeah, Furry is gonna be able to stay alive. That is going to be the position set up though with 10 seconds on the dragon, Nightstar. I think PSG might be feeling that they can fight this. JT, though, they do have, I would say, item advantage in the AD carry role because that's an infinity edge completed over just the LDR. The so LDR will help cut through some of these uh, frontline champions, but the Electro Shock Laser, if it lands, is going to destroy targets on the side of PSG. That's going to be the extra move speed coming in. Burry charging up the ultimate. Oh, they got Burry on this one. Do they have him out of this? No! The final chapter going to get spent here. It's going to come down to the fight by 50 50 and gets taken by PSG. Now they just got to get out of there in time. Gory taking the express route over the wall, still staying alive, but Gory falls. Okay, Lil V with the flash forward, get the double kill. Rock tries for the big NAR, doesn't find enough, and PSG just need to move out of there. Maybe they can get the kills back unified. Ah, Ollie walked oh. away on the chase, on the run, but look at all the damage he's dishing with the oh pizzas. God. And I think he might just get out of this oh my one. God. As he keeps him at arm's length, buying so much time with the boomerangs, and he's got himself the blast cone. I don't know if he's getting away here, Nightstar, but look at this long engage. As they keep it going, they can't believe it! They do it! <laughs> and now the barrel chain! They can take Uniboy down! That's huge! Shut down goal PSG! They're back in the game! They're back on the money! I love me some cat. <laughs> and you got to. That move speed, dude. He didn't even have to pop on the hunt. Oh, Woo! man. Oh, my, oh my word. Is this, the Yumi is this Baron time? It's such a powerful pick. And J-Team, they don't have the means to uh, punish this pick. This side of PSG, they just immediately turn on the Baron. The recalls were there, but now Lil V is back. This will be a full contest. Uh, doesn't have Mega. Let's see if they turn the fight. That Baron a little bit low right now. Is he gonna go back to oh, before resets? They get Rock it. is the only one they that Mega's it. about to come through, but I think they get this one. Here we go. Murray gonna be the isolated so target for left for dead. It doesn't matter though, as they take Baron off the board. Yep, yep. They cut into the Drake stack. PSG was previously held to no kills, but they cut into that gold lead even further and remove two objectives off the rip. It just took one kill. That's it. And all of a sudden, they have a Baron. This gold lead that was at 4K at 14 minutes. Where it was like 12 minutes. It's now half. The side of JT have just not done enough in this game so far. We get to see the replay. Like, I love the chase coming in from uh, Lil V, knowing that he is so, so strong. Goes over the wall, gets himself two kills. They find a stun on Unify, but... Not enough damage coming in from Lil V. The, uh, his health bar not Look at quite how fast that cupcake was. high enough to be able to stick onto the target to finish that kill, and then it was just ensuing chase onto a very fast pizza deliverer and yeah. uh, a cat. A rock even this forced to burn the it. teleport. That's that's also impactful because now you have a, t a TP advantage, even though PSG might not know it. Woof. And Unified starting to hit hard. Look at Lil V's health bar just melting here. On the yep. ricochets, those barrel postures, the TP flank. Here we go for this one as Uniboy looks for this right now. However, they turn their attention onto him. The final chapter popped. Burry looking to join the fray. Oh, Not Unify, gonna get that windup as he doesn't have the ultimate available, but the scatter from PSG, it works. They get out, they don't lose a man. Oh my god, that was such a scattered fight, but PSG managed to get out alive, and now Burry get cut off here. Lil V trying to heal off of this objective. <laughs> nice, Burry gets nice chunked out. Okay. Oh boy. Uh, Enzo gets the blue buff. Did Enzo get it? Okay. Yeah. It looks like for a second Burry got that one down. Unified does go back to base, completes his fourth item. That's the eye edge. Yes. And that should start to make a bit of a difference. He's actually the first to four items. First to four items did bypass completing the boots. Uh, tier two boots. But because he has the magical yeah. boots, it's going to be more than enough uh, move speed, right? Because you also have the Yumi on top. So. The Yumi. That's the thing. Little things you don't often think about is you don't actually have to go for your boot upgrade, and you're still that fast. Yeah. So, you have the ultimate, unified. so uh, it's not definitely not an issue. And for Lil V, he is very close to his GA. I expect that's why he is channeling his recall. Should have that completed for him, and 
that will be a big cooldown because it will allow him to jump forward and also have the ability to reset after he comes out of GA state. But right now, the way the 5v5s are going are favoring PSG, right? Not just because they managed to get uh, the Dragon takeaway, because they can set up on the set plays. They have the inside track on the Baron, and Rock has been building for side lane. And now they get the catch off onto Kongye, forced to flash out as they burn a fair number of ultimates in that without getting a kill. Nonetheless, <laughs> PSG, with 20 seconds on the Dragon, might be able to start this one up without a whole lot of answer. From yep, J team, the waves just completely crashed in. They're gonna have positioning advantage here, and they're setting up for the death push for J team. They Blood do spot it out. It's just here comes Kongye with the flank. Back. He's spotted. He's gonna go straight. Ah, he knows. Yeah, here okay. comes Kongye on the flash. They're gonna look to cut down the smite into the wall bang. He buys a little time for himself with that stopwatch. However, he's not all that tanky. Rejoining the team on the redemption. Finally the goes down. Pick. Shut down gold falls into the Yumi's pocket. And here we go. Gory dashing, diving, dodging, but not long enough. Goes for a stopwatch time. himself. They can't That's protect him. One for one on the engage. Flashing over the page is gonna be Hanabi here. As the Lil chase v, is on, I think out. they've got him down. Lil V with the chase down. They find what they needed. J Team right back into this one. And the claps coming in from J Team when these fight formations do sort of go to a bit of a mess. That really changes the oh, scope of it as Yubi does get caught out. He should go down, but it's a Yubi. He should. It's, this it's, would be one heck of an escape. A Yumi, it's a Sivir. They do he a doesn't damage. actually have it on the hunt yet. No, there we go. That was a clutch cutoff. And J Team right back on top of it now. Speedy themselves. 35 minutes. These are lengthy death timers, so they could potentially get an inhib tower. They've got a big wave coming in towards this bot side. Corey's up. Hanabi's about to be. This is at least two towers, you have to think. But J Team are going to settle for one. Yeah, it's just going Let's to take be a look at that fight again. This was actually a good catch on to Kongye, but he buys enough time for himself to allow the team to arrive. And once Gory's out, that's a value play. Miss Barrel Chain coming in from Hanabi might have been able to chunk out these targets to make this fight uh, winnable for the side of PSG, but unfortunately, the Barrel doesn't connect. As a result, J Team have very, very full HP bars to continue chasing. And Zeri, when you have no front to back, then she can just chase whichever target she wants. Uh, so uh, that was a. Uh, that was a little bit unfortunate for them. And Lil V coming over the wall and the zap. That whew, was clutch. Yeah, it was. They knew that's where they had to be. At the moment, they just needed to cover the distance. Those chains didn't quite last long enough. And now we are back into live. You can see the picture in picture. And as the Baron. theater of battle shifts over towards the Baron, about to spawn. PSG significantly weakened after that last one by comparison. Nonetheless, they have all their tools to fight this. We want to go for a straight up flip. I do believe they are going to have to look for a fight. Gory, there's going to be that cannon barrage though from the Hanabi. Turn. They look to cut off Rock as Mega's about to pop. However, he hop skips, jumps away. There it goes. That's the reset. A lot of utilities, a lot of ultimates burn. The Baron is peeled off. For PSG, these short skirmishes are going to be uh, are going to work in their favor because they're the ones with a Yumi. They've got heal, they've got sustain. They can reset the fights. Now, okay, big big laser does come through. That's a lot of choke point damage, yeah. Here we go. Let's see if the chase down can come off. On the hunt, not available, but they can keep that wave pushed and trying to keep them at arm's length here. This is oh. something PSG had a comp built well for. But Lil V, he's hunting for kills himself. Now it looks like without any dragon pressure coming on here they can just hover top half of the map now on back there's a lightning crash they're gonna be able to find Burry before anything else happens that should be the fight one kill turning into more you have to think after this one is the soul and Great ultimate trying to keep them slow down uni boy on the front line gory a little low as he's trying to get away isolated from the rest of the team last cone to rejoin them here but with that numbers disadvantage without the smite 
This is the safest Baron that J-Team could take. They're not going to be able to get it cleanly just yet, Already though. Already has TP. Unified, keeping them isolated. Or he can't TP. come back with the teleport play. And Barrage on that one. will be taken low, Gore. but here comes the Mignor. Oh, Spell Shielded away. Now and the, the cleanse comes through. Gore they find here. a lot of damage. Here's Gory on the flank. They find Kong. They can't take him down. Gory Vanya is going to go him. golden. Not going to go down here. The protection was just too good. Uniboy will be. A little bit low, but without anybody Situation going turns. down, PSG, they're gonna go back to the Baron anyways. Yudu Boy does have this teleport. But with these Where's recalls back? being channeled, it's going to be a two-man contest. Buri is on the way, he will be here for his team to help escort them out if the need be. But it will be a free Baron, well fought out from the side of Ooh. PSG. In the end, that's... That's More free nominally. They back pay up front. <laughs> Somehow, they've uh, they've been the ones to get both barons here so far in this game. It is 30 seconds until the Infernal Soul, though, and for J Team, they are going to have initial positioning around the river area. But with the extra baron stats, it helps even up the gold deficit. This game has gotten so incredibly close, despite uh, PSG only being have two kills. Lead. They only have two kills, I know, and they just, they've just just been so good at farming it up, and, well, you've got a Sivir late game win condition, you've got a Gangplank late game, is four items as well, and, yep. you know, Burry getting caught and blown up, that certainly hurts, nonetheless. Double IE is completed for set up around PSG. this dragon, that's soul, you have to fight this one out. J-Team gonna start it here. Cannon Barrage primed and ready for Hanabi. All Rock nearly available. has the Narbar, is this really gonna come down to a flip? This is it, Pyra. Oh, he's got Kogi out of there. They immediately turn. And that's going to be the takedown as they keep them out of the pit. Courtesy of the Cannon Barrage. And look at the top side. The Winions are doing work, but PSG, they're okay with that. They're okay with that. It's a 40-minute game. They're still alive. And they are on Soul Point. And once more, J-Team concede yet another objective this one you know this was due to the hard work coming in from Burry though getting a nice ejection on to the J team jungler removes the smite out of the picture they immediately turn even though the dragon did reset and maybe put a bit of a heart attack into PSG fans still ends up getting secured by the last boomerang so yeah, PSG... the decisiveness was just huge yes yes there. The moment that, that Konge is out, the game plan already well coordinated and communicated, and they're just onto the dragon. J Team know they can't contest. So now it's gonna come down to the final infernal. <laughs> Start the timer. Four minutes and counting Nightstar. Yeah, this game How most likely has this come so close. Uh, this game most likely won't end with Infernal Soul taken. It'll just come down to the fight, right? Yeah. Uh, and whichever team the fight over that. wins the fight, because it is 42 minutes into the game, these death timers uh, it will be so long. You'll just be able to walk into the base. Uh, unless if you're stuck fighting against supers and your wave isn't close to touching any of these towers. But... Nobody's broken any bases just yet, though. Yep. I'm unified. Now at a full six items. The only thing left mm -hmm. is to exchange those boots, and on the flip side, the same goes for Lil V. He's gone for more defensive build, though, of course. The Guardian Angel and Mercurial Scimitar. So he's mm -hmm. gonna be able to tank up a death and some CC. Rock, of course, you know, the way he built out uh, that hole breaker would rather be on the side lanes. He hasn't been able to do it for a while as PSG have drawn all the gravity here. That's a lightning Talk crash. Burry. They can sun up a Burry. Big steadfast presence and look at the rock chase down the side. He's forced to flash away. Oh, ejection. They, they get turned. They, and get, they get the charm out on to rock. He goes oh, mega and that's going to be the turn. Once again, another cannon oh. barrage lands courtesy of Uniboy, but the barrel chains are too huge. The fight ends indecisively, but PSG reset and it's chase, J team. They're scattered right now. They have the Yumi. They can reset the situation and it favors them because they have all this regen. They have uh, the oranges coming in from Hanabi, right? Uh, and with the Yumi means that when the fight doesn't get fully committed to, PSG will almost always come out on top. 
And the only difference between these two Ooh. teams when it comes to stats is really just on the one hand, you have a little bit more durability with the Mountain Dragon, and on the other side, it's just a tiny bit of sustain. Really, none of these secondary tricks are going to matter because uh, the Inferno, with how much damage it's adding to both these teams, will sort of invalidate. PSG. After getting so far down in the game, bring it back slowly but surely. And we've had such a longer game. It was 31 minutes or just shy of it last time around. We're now about to hit 44. Mm -hmm. And it's sort of the difference in how PSG and J-Team do execute. Against these top teams, J-Team have struggled to close out games. Uh, and that was, of course, the narrative going into uh, the MFT series. Like, hey... Right? It should just be MFT getting raffle songs, and when they weren't able to close out fast enough in game number one, there were concerns. Oh, Feral Chain. It is on Tacoma, right? He takes it well. He is, yeah, he's alright. He is VP They're setting yet. up the death brush. They're setting up the death brushes, and they can choose. And 45 dragon. seconds on the dragon, 30 There's on the, the Baron, but it's definitely going to be that Drake is the focus. PSG have the inside track. Look at Hanabi. <laughs> he's isolated, just looking. Barrel fishing at this point. <laughs> So is oh, Unified. Oh, it could be turned around. Nope, he's able to get back to safety. Oh, stolen on the hunt. Stolen. Uh, J-Team would like to collapse on this one. Keep your eye on that timer. 20 seconds. There There's go. the on the hunt bops. And the best presence immediately. They stuff Kongye. Let's see. Lightning Crash ejected from the fight. Looking for the chase down as the cannon barrage comes through. Charm doesn't land. That's the reset. Situation reset. Seconds. Position still dragon. favorable Back for PSG. Boy. He's going to be able to teleport in. Gory a little bit low, but the honey fruit will help. Dragon now live. Teleport oh, coming TV. in. On the minion. PSG, they're going to pull this one out. Rock almost mega. Rock nearly has that Narbar built up. If this comes down to the flip, Burger it flip. would be something else. But it looks like it's taken by J-Team. They were in the picture fast, and PSG immediately realized they've got to go for Baron now. Turning straight for the Baron buff, and it's recalls coming in from J Team. They're trying to go for the base, but they have no way to stop the backs coming in from PSG. So PSG will be able to get the Baron and be able to use the Baron powered recalls to alleviate any pressure coming into the base. And that is why J Team they just full set themselves onto that recall. While J Team do well in getting themselves the objective. PSG also responding kind by being able to secure themselves the Baron buff, the extra gold, to try and finish out the rest of their build. There is no panic, there is no delay when PSG lose out on a play. They just go immediately, turn for the Baron, and J-Team a little indecisive. They try to start pushing, they realize they can't do it, they back off. So J-Team, still a win. They clear away the last of the Infernals. They get the soul. That is a massive boost to them. But as you said, they've struggled to close these games out. And with the Baron buff, it's going to be a little harder to siege up. Mm -hmm. Pyra, this is looking like we're going to eight dragons. It's going to come down to I an think Elder it's possible. Burger flip before oh, any of Kong, these eh? teams do commit. Lil V, even though he is full build and with the GA, he does get shredded very, very quickly. It's a long fight. The barrel chain coming through doesn't go where they wanted it. Remember, they find Rock though. Vignar, it's not there. The chase on. Rock, it's he's not got any more and he's going absolutely nowhere into the resurrection, but that's only going to buy him a few seconds of time. The final chapter not even needed. And J Team get chased out. Now the siege go goes. The Birdie base. trying to stop the backs. They've got the stop push. The They've got the siege. Night Star PSG are going for gold here as they take down stop the, the inhibitor. Board. They force them the long way. Burry just keeps them locked up, and they're on the Nexus turrets. Stop they're the on board. the Nexus. J Team can't stop it. PSG going to match point. PSG daylight. Robbery straight through the front door, and they take game number two as J Team are at a complete loss of words. Absolutely stunned. They played that game in full control. They didn't even lose the fights. They got the soul, and yet they still lost the game. And once more, J Team. It's just a difference of planning. 
they it felt like every single time they knew what step one was but they didn't have the rest of the steps lined up right in game number one it was hey we want this dragon but what do we do if psg come across and contest it well i don't know we'll just give it to them i guess and that was the case here they continue to give up objectives over to the side of psg even though uh, they had gold leads right they had such a massive gold lead at 12 minutes and then you go 20 minutes 25 minutes 30 minutes that gold lead pretty much stayed the same that allowed psg the airspace to continue to come in with their multi-layered plans and unfortunately for JT, they once more give up the most important objective, the Nexus. Yeah, uh, they weren't able to back away and just that late, late game, never putting the game away and not pushing their advantage. PSG were still measured, but they were able to take whatever they could off the map. They had been held back from kills. They had been held back from heralds. And then they managed to grab themselves barons. They get dragons back even in these flips and you could see like we don't often see these situations where it comes down to a dragon flip i'm not just talking about on the the soul point i'm talking about just in general it's usually like some team wins a fight and takes the dragon no 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 j team even then they don't want to full commit they don't want to pull the trigger and i think that is the problem that this team is running into you're right they have step one but they don't have steps two three four five six or anything past that yeah, and they, don't they need to develop it more. Yeah, they only have step one and they only have plan A, right? There's no fallback back alternative option. It's just, oh, we lost it. I guess we recall. <laughs> yeah. And it, it was just, you have to be critical of the game planning coming in from the coaching staff, not having their players prepared for these situations because these are routine situations right you practice these in scrims all right they take the objective now what do we do right it, it's not it's not uncommon right but but j team do seem to struggle a lot when it comes to uh pushing leads going the extra mile like they did a great job at shutting down psg in the early game and punishing some over aggressions but it just didn't matter at the end because PSG weren't uh, closed out of the game completely. The door didn't shut on them and they had a scaling composition. They had the Silver Yumi. Some brilliant individual play, I have to say, from the PSG bot lane. They definitely have stepped it up. I know we criticized them coming into today because mm -hmm. compared to Lil V and Enzo, they had been looking worse, but that was great. And this was what we wanted to see. We keep talking of Yumi as a great champion for enchanter players to go for. And that's exactly why, because it just makes your team so much more capable of doing stuff like that. And then when you look at other regions, this is like first pick priority. <laughs> you just go yeah. B1 Yumi so many times. And it, this was the overchase, by the way, yeah. that this was actually a great punish from J team. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I mean, they got there so they fast. Had they so burned many all the punishes, sums. right? where j because remember j team got so many kills you look at the kill score i believe psg finished the game with only three kills uh what's that that's got to be some kind of pcs record it, it, it was absurd to see like you press tab and you're looking up and down j team by all means should have just steamrolled this game and yet time after time they just stalled out and it was really it wasn't like the it wasn't like lava right where you know eventually once it touches you you're dead it's just it was molasses no one you're staring at this sludge coming towards you and you're like well it's it's not toxic i don't really care come at me and then bro. before you know it you're just covered up yeah <laughs> uh the shutdown this this pretty much was the beginning of the end because the death timer was so long they had a numbers advantage j team even then, don't defend their base. They don't turn back in because they know they'll probably lose out the fight. Burry just keeps everybody <laughs> stiff-armed, and the siege is huge at this point. You got Baron, and you've got, like, 500 CS win condition Sivir. So the game is literally just over. Yeah. You do not have to take the fight. Yeah. It was... a bizarre situation. Uh, and for J-Team fans, I'm sorry. Because I know you guys were hoping for more out of your team 
I know you had them picked to win the whole thing. I, I just never had confidence for them to pull it off. Yeah, look, I, I think I think the issue that J-Team are running into that I was really hoping they were going to move beyond was this slow, uh, slow to adapt, slow to, to work outside of plan A tendency because they have incredibly skilled players. And I think that's why it is so frustrating to see this happen, um, that they just give it up a little bit. And, you know, w the game went on so long and here you go. I mean, it, it was a gold lead for the vast majority of it in favor Four of J-Team. It was a dragon lead for the in the vast majority of it, but they never stopped PSG from being competitive and they really needed to shut the door between that 25 and 35 minute when the gold lead was actually not even that high because the scaling hadn't kicked in yet. And by the end of the game, look at the silver damage. That's disgusting. Yeah, at 14 minutes, they peaked in gold and held that for 20 minutes. It was the same for 20 whole minutes. And that is just such an egregious mistake coming in for J-Team because it's not like they had the scaling advantage, right? For PSG, they were fine continuing to scale up. And that's why, even though they were at a gold deficit, they managed to win the game. They got themselves three Barons for, for heaven's sake. Burry! <laughs> Burry gets the MVP, MVP because he got those key ejections round uh the dragon he also secured three barons for them and at the very end he stopped the ports that he did he played out the utility showing why the poppy honestly should be heavily contested even though it hasn't been in this series been let through twice burry picks it up in game two to great effect and what a strange turn of events and it it just feels like j team it's like they're allergic to pushing the enemy in. And PSG know how to take full advantage of that. When they're given free objectives, they're able to do it. Yeah, look at that, 50% kill participation. He had, uh, he was involved in a grand total of two kills. There were four in total this game for PSG and they still got that win. I mean, kudos to them for holding on, but I think J Team, this has to be a wake up call as they are now down 0-2 and on the verge of getting knocked out in a clean sweep. Backs against the wall, they need to find more, they need to resolve their in-game issues because I look at these drafts, these drafts are terrible. They're not absolutely one-sided. You even say in-game one, they had the draft advantage. They just right. can't manage to do anything in-game with those. Well, we will see if they can pick it back up or are we on our way to a PSG clean sweep? Let's find out after this break. 